just taking it super wide. You got lots of room, bud. Don't worry. No worries. You don't got a plow the snow bank on the other side there. Alexandria Pilot. Flying J. We're going to have a shower here. I'm not the dirtiest trucker on the road, I'm sure of it. But I am also not the cleanest, so we are going to go and change that. Found a parking spot around here. It's just a quick shower. I should be in and out of here in less than 45 minutes. Hopefully there's no truck racing around this bend here. Easy. Some drivers just think that it's a it's a race. This way, back in beside this red Volvo here, probably. Or beside that freight liner over there. And we're right close to the building then. That is perfect. Oh, oh. Walk the weasel at the same time while we're here. I'll probably, uh, I might grab fuel before we leave later. I might also wait until I'm a little further down south. We'll see. Not a pressing issue. The weather is nice outside and I've got half a tank right now. I'll make that decision later. Right now, I'm gonna clean myself up. Make sure I park straight in here. Smell amazing. Don't you agree, Diesel? Fine then. Time to go. So after we were done showering, we grabbed some fuel. Grabbed a coffee. And now we are ready to rock for the rest of the day. Feels good to be clean in the morning. Maybe we can get ourselves out of here. Racing around this corner here. This is where we came around before. You never know. You never know. Okay, good. Good. Let's get back on the highway. We still have 869 kilometers to drive today, yet that's 530 miles or so. Still got a long ways ahead. Going to Monmouth, Illinois. Monmouth. Monmouth? Monmouth. Interesting names for towns. It's a beautiful day out here. It's beautiful. Hey, the sun's shining. It's not that cold. Got a coffee, got a shower. Turn left on. Don't RC ruin it, Karen. Turn right into 120 meters. Today is a good day. Getting back on Interstate 94 here. I'm so mad at myself. I forgot my crucifix necklace that my wife bought me for Christmas at home. I make a point of always wearing it. I like it. Continue on this road for 91 kilometers. This guy almost refused to move over. Sorry to inconvenience you, my friend. I know it's very tough making space for me on an empty highway, but thank you anyways. I do realize moving over is a courtesy. Not a right. Anyway, yeah, my necklace is at home. I feel naked without it now. So if you guys are wondering where it is, you don't see it in the vlogs for the next day or two. I think I'm going to be going back home day after tomorrow. I'm going to pick up this load, go home for a day, and then I deliver this new load. I think I'm picking up some more farm equipment uh, in Illinois there somewhere. I'm going back to Saskatchewan, and I believe I can stop by home for a day on the way back. I'll pick it up then. In 300 meters, turn right on 215th Street. Iowa 80. They have branded themselves. Meters, turn right on 215th Street. Karen, listen to me. They have branded themselves the world's largest truck stop. Largest truck stop in the whole world. The whole world. Everything. So 
whether or not that's true, I've never seen a bigger one than this. So I, I would back them up on that, but it is awesome. I'll tell you that much. It's the biggest one I know of. And they have a 24 hour service center here, which is perfect because I have an air leak. 200 meters, turn right on, Sterling Drive. I'll be quiet, Karen. I'm done with you for today. Welcome to Iowa 80 Truck Stop. I'm pretty sure that this is the uncontested world's largest truck stop. It is. It's like a shopping mall for truckers. They even have a trucking museum here, just to my left, which is awesome. Maybe we'll go check it out sometime. But for today, we got to go to the 24 hour shop. I got an air leak. It's not that bad of an air leak, but it's bad enough that I need to get it fixed right now. I just noticed it a little ways down the road and this was the closest shop. So we came directly here, called them up. They said, yeah, we're open 24 hours. Oh, perfect. Perfect, we'll get this done, taken care of tonight. Might even get a full service on this truck tonight while it's in the shop. They said they weren't that busy. It's like, middle of the night, so may as well take advantage of that and get everything done that I need done. Where is it though? This place is so big I'll get lost. Massive. That windshield's so dirty. Yikes. I think that there's parking here for 500 plus trucks. Somebody who actually knows, let me know down in the comment section. I think I heard it was 500 plus trucks can park here. It's absolutely fantastic. It's a beautiful thing. Beautiful. The owners of this place obviously really love truckers. And what do you know? We love them too. We love them back. Okay, how do I get to the shop? I hope they're still not busy because when I called them, they're like, no, it's pretty late no one's really in the shop we got nothing to do we should be able to get you in right away it's kind of hoping we can be you know in and out within an hour so I can go to bed thread the needle here nice and slow nice and slow is this the service center oh there it is it's over here to the left more truck parking over here Seriously, you can get lost in this truck stop. It's huge. Have I said that yet? It's huge. There it is, TA Truck Service. I don't know where I can park for now. I'm gonna park right in front. Right front and center. Hey boys, I'm here. Come on, bud. You wanna fix my truck for me, please? It's, uh, it's an air leak in a spot where I can't really get to it. That's why I'm going to ask for their help. And I need a full service anyway. So. We'll park right here for now, go inside and talk to the good people. 24 hour service center. That's what I'm talking about. World's largest truck stop. Iowa 80. One day we're gonna come here and just make a vlog just of this truck stop. It'll probably have to be in two parts because it's so big. So I had to go drop my trailer and pull up to door three. I'm gonna do the whole kit and caboodle while we're here. Can you hear the air leak? Missing. Not good. Not good. So as soon as they open this door here, we're gonna roll inside and I will uh, check in with you guys after, I guess. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Hopefully it's not too expensive is what I mean. Well, Volvo has found another way to frustrate me. The part that I need is a Volvo specific part that only Volvo dealerships carry. And they specifically don't allow other places like this to carry those parts because they want me to go to the Volvo dealership, which is eight miles down the road. And it's not 24 hours. So I'm gonna go there right now, 
park right at the dealership, go to sleep, and wake up when they open up in the morning. Good thing I got a little bit of time left. I'm going to go right there and sleep right there, and hopefully we can get this all fixed and resolved tomorrow morning. And uh, figure it out from there. I really dislike Volvo. They got to be special. They got to be different. It's a European truck which means that you can only use European parts on it and you can only get the European parts at a special specific Volvo dealer because they want your money. They don't want me giving money to these people. They want, they want, it's smart business, I get it. Frustrating, it's late, I'm tired, I'm grumpy. I'm just gonna go quickly park at Volvo and uh, worry about this all in the morning. I hope I don't have to replace the whole air compressor, but it, it seems to be working just fine. It's just, it's got an air leak and I need a replacement part. So let's bring it down to Volvo there. Uh, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about that. I need some sleep. They're open. So I gotta go in there and see if they can get fixed up. We'll have to check in with you guys in tomorrow's vlog to see how this goes. Don't forget to tune in, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how expensive it's going to be. kind of nervous about it. Help me out a lot if you were there to watch my video tomorrow. <laughs> oh, sirens. I'm tired. Did you hear that? You hear that, Diesel? You heard it, right? For some reason, whenever I hear a siren like that in a small town, I always think air raid sirens like World War II. No, I wasn't alive in World War II. Tune in tomorrow, guys. We've got to go inside and figure out what's going on.